The language is placed the same thing over yeah. and over. Fiddle can go Fox through the eagles. Sure. It has a similarity to Nancy Blevins a little bit to me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Kind of yeah. something similar about it. It's almost like it. Is it? It seems. Yeah, something.
Sometimes we've got, uh, she's got her home place that she's renting to this Mexican fella. He loves the place, mm -hmm. takes good care of it, uh, repairs the buildings, you know, the outbuildings and stuff. Really a good, good renter. So they're not all bad. Yeah. We have a Mexican guy next to us, and he, he does a lot of work on the, on the place and keeps uh -huh. it really nice. But you never know, I guess. We rode past your house today. It looks so pretty, all decorated. Would you Wait. ride on your bicycle? Yeah. Why don't you stop in? We were there. Because he doesn't like stopping. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't exactly say that, but it is true. <laughs>
mighty child that uh, wants to give all her toys to the, her brothers and sisters, but she's especially attached to the shoes, and she wants her mother to put the shoes up so that they don't, you know, get messed up. Oh, wow. Yeah. Kind of a sad song. Yeah. But the words of it are, are so old-fashioned and graceful. It's, it's strange. And the babies, something about the babies going to be getting bigger. Yes. And they'll soon fit the baby. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I know. Yeah. I'll have to put wow. that back up. That, that would sound better in G. Yeah. So have you ever played that before? Did you just No, he knows it. That out? We played it. Who did we play it with? Um, Arnold. Arnold did that? Yeah. Arnold did that. Yeah. Uh, Dan Williams, he Dan, done a different Dan version. Did it. Okay. He did it. Okay. Yeah, some, of, some of our people that we just once in a while played it, played it. Uh, Dan did, did a, a different version and it was real nice. Oh, different, okay. different yes. melody. Too bad he won't do that anymore. Um, and that reminds me of that other, um, I wish I could sing those crazy things. Yeah. I can't sing. I can't even stay on key. Okay, let's do something more fun. Start. Name something.
different version of what you play. Yeah, I know. I found that out. <laughs> <laughs> What's the other version? Oh, it's an A. It's an A, show. but the high part is a different. Yeah. Um, I might do him that when I say that uh, second part of this, and D is uh, is a uh, Yankee Doodle. Uh, yeah, that's <laughs> right. I thought it was the Long Hall Yeah, that's 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 my. No, it's actually it's, it, it, it's Yankee Doodle melody. The second part of that. Say all. summer, two little girls so fair were waiting in the mill, mill pond while songs were in the air. They were young and cheery, though neither one could swim. They waited in deep water, for God had called for them. Oh, really? Uh, uh, now they're happy. <laughs> What's the first, first goal again? One afternoon in summer, two little girls so fair were wading in the mill pond while songs were <coughs> in the air. They were young and cheery, though neither one could swim. They waded in deep water, for God had called for them. Ooh. It is bad, ice. <laughs> That's okay, we, don't, we won't worry about the second verse. <laughs> <laughs>
Let's see, I have, well, let's see, I have a daughter coming <coughs> home from St. Louis. And I uh, got my other daughter and my grandson. Did you two ever get together and do oh, the slides? Yeah. Yes, yeah, we did. Yeah. Uh, that, that must have been so really fun. It was fun. He's got some more that we want to say. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was the first round. That was fun. Oh, I bet. Yeah. Yeah. And there's, I one, there's, so much of that. there's one picture of her on the bus that's just great. Because she's on one side of the bus, and there's all these really handsome Germans on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> and she's the only girl on the bus. I like to tell you that slide was in backwards because I, I sat on the left side of the bus. I sat on the right side of the bus and mm -hmm. had it on the left. On the left side, yeah. and then went backwards. So we yeah. remember that I can't believe you remember pictures? that. <laughs> Did a lot of memories come back to you both that you had forgotten? Oh, yeah, yeah. Quite a lot. Yeah. yeah. It, it, was a, it was such an incredible trip, and there's just so much happened. But, mm -hmm. uh, you know, unbelievable memories. Um, it was an unbelievable time because see, this is after the war, Second World, you know, just after the war, and it was just the, really the. the uh, uh, Russia was just in full swing. Mm -hmm. the Iron Cold Curtain. War, yeah. The Cold War was just it was just getting it was just going, and then the Berlin Wall had just gone up the year before, uh, and Kennedy was just shot, oh and uh, yeah. and Cru and then uh, Stalin had been well, Stalin was gone, but Khrushchev was just deposed at that time, and uh, and he was called a. Uh, wasn't Khrushchev just had gone, and he was called a um, a personality cult. Oh. Uh, I guess he, he was. <coughs> Remember, he, and then uh, he met Nixon. He, Khrushchev and Nixon were had had that that discussion in, in, about a kitchen or something. Yeah. And then and uh, actually we ran into Nixon on, in the Kremlin. Yes. And I got no. this is beyond crazy. And I got I got a picture of Nixon yes. in Red Square with some guys in long black coats following him. No kidding. No kidding. Bye, Joe. So, yeah, yeah, See you soon. Okay. <laughs> See you, Joe. I was on uh, uh, charge of quarters in my outfit the night that Kennedy got killed, and uh, the news come on the radio about two o'clock in the morning because. You know, it's six hours different from here over there. Oh yeah. And uh, you like to stay in your barracks and yeah, I was in charge ready for the worst. And uh, I, I called a battalion commander at two o'clock in the morning. And uh, so uh, uh, he called me in the next morning and congratulated me for calling. Me. Really? Wow. Bad time. So, did you have trouble as students getting into the country? I mean, nobody said, maybe this isn't the best time to... No, yeah, well, my mother said that. Yeah, other than your mother? I mean, the government didn't? Or? Well, no. we, there was we, no the two of us lived in, in this student home uh, run by a guy that helped a Swede that helped Jews get out of Germany, and he was kind of friends with the communists, I think, and uh -huh. whatever it was. At any rate, he ran this trip into the East Bloc. And so these were all people out of that, out of this student home in Germany, and, in Germany, and uh, everybody in the home had a German roommate. And uh, at any rate, so it was a combination of people from all over the world, pretty much half Germans and half other people, and there were several Americans on the trip, mm -hmm. but it was sort of on the, uh, under the auspices of this guy that the, the, the Russians allowed us to go there, and they would, and we, they uh, set up meetings with uh, groups of Russian students, uh, Ukrainian students, where we were Polish or wow. Czech students. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, the Ukraine was part of Russia at that time. Right. Right. Czechoslovakia was in 
in the Soviet Union too, was it? No, it wasn't in the Soviet Union, but it was under their sphere of influence. It was, like, in the it was a satellite. Eastern yeah. Bloc, right. so they, they couldn't do anything but, without uh, Russia. Yeah, it was a fascinating. We, we got off on our, so a little bit off, but usually we had some KBG agent following us in case we went anywhere. Mm -hmm. we well, you knew you were safe then. We didn't go, yeah, right. right. <laughs> we didn't hardly go anywhere except that when with the group. We, with the group, yeah. Yeah. right. But isn't that incredible that you saw President Nixon? That's just something else. Yeah, I didn't 